Love the Labor Manifesto, but I heard the uh, unredacted papers. Corbin, uh, Corbin said that the Tories are putting the NHS on the p chopping block. Don't actually prove that. Can you speak to that? I don't want to hurt labor when their agenda is so fantastic. Well, I would say don't then don't do it. <laughs> right. Like, I mean, it, here's like a th like a three step process for something like that. I, my read uh, was that, in fact, it did show that the private negotiating position of the Tories was definitely that uh, NHS was open to um investment and, and participation from U.S. insurance companies if they negotiated a free trade agreement with the U.S., which is what a major part of their Brexit strategy hinges on. Like they need that capital infusion and they want to, and they do, they want, but um, I, you know, like the real bottom line is, is that yes, the Tories want to gut the NHS. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Don't get worried American in all this pedantic, not like people can, you know, like, well, actually like, this is why I get so frustrated with well, actually stuff. There are times where you need precision, where you need to make be able to make a distinction and no one and so on. But the Tories want to gut and have already massively destroyed the UK social safety system. Have caused thou have caused a huge increase in poverty. People have died, and they have wanted to get rid of the NHS forever. And they already have messed with it significantly, including, of course, the Lib Dems and the right wing of labor. And if you think that the NHS, which, by the way, uh, Boris Johnson wrote a column years ago that was dug up recently where he said people should pay for NHS visits. Um, that's the truth. You know, don't let the, the silly little quibbles distract from it. If you care about the NHS, you vote labor. That's it. Everything else is silly. Um, I mean, just uh, I don't yeah. know much specifically about these documents, yeah. but I can say that it looks like the Daily Telegraph is saying that Corbyn was tricked by fake documents, but the Daily Telegraph previously had run a story based on the exact same documents. So who knows? It's probably just some bullshit. Look, maybe look, even if it's a rat fuck, maybe they it points to truth. It's the truth. Under Lib Dems and Tories, the NHS will be destroyed. You don't want you want to protect the NHS. You vote Labour. Everything else is irrelevant. All right, let's actually play some sound. This is Jeremy Corbyn. And one of the things that's so incredible about the demonization and the just relentless lies, distortion, and propaganda about Jeremy Corbyn is that he really just has this elemental decency about him. And I think, you know, I think some people... You know, like Martin Amos doesn't like that Jeremy Corbyn's a vegetarian and he doesn't have an ironic sense of humor. Yeah, I don't you know? like that Martin Amos who is cares? five foot three. Right, exactly. I mean, that, you know, who? but that's, you know, but when it is all said and done, you have a decent person who has dedicated the their life to improving the lot of the majority not just in his home country, but everywhere, who has basic principles, which any person with any basic decency would share. And it is a testament to media monopoly, propaganda, uh, and, and social herd force that this guy would be unpopular or that he doesn't have the temperament to be prime minister. I mean, this is actually exactly the temperament that you want to encourage in executive positions. Here he is on... Uh, ITV this morning talking about his views of public service. Are you just exhausted with all of this? No. Uh, you must be. <laughs> I mean, everybody's exhausted this time of year. It's coming up to Christmas. There's so much more to do anyway. And yet you're <laughs> doing this day in, day out. Aren't you just like, don't you just want to sit back and put your feet up and go, is nah. it all worth it? No, not a, not a bit of it. Why? You get up each day and you go out and you do what you believe in. You do your campaigning. Is there as much pride in the job? Because sometimes I think, God, for a politician, is there as much pride in your job? I've represented my constituency since 1983, and I love the people I represent. I know many, many very, very well, of course, I know their families and so on. It feels like home and family. Mm -hmm. And I believe in public service. I believe in representing people. And I passionately believe in a country where we don't have homeless people, where we don't have food banks, where we don't have four million children going to school hungry or poor or unable to achieve their best in life. And I want to 
bring about a fairer, more just, more equal society. That's what I've spent my whole life doing. Yeah. And this, I travel all around the country meeting people. Last night I was talking to a group of homeless people in Hastings, but also talking to people who are wanting to expand their work and their businesses. The two things actually go together. Mm -hmm. And so those, the wisdom that's there amongst people all over the country is something that absolutely inspires me. You should vote for some blubbering trust fund baby sociopath who was a right wing media columnist over that. I mean, I honestly, like, let me pull a Trump here. Like, how stupid are you people? He's you would so vote good. for the Lib Dems under some former uh, FM uh, uh, disc jockey programmer who has nothing to say except smears of Corbyn, Brexit fear mongering and austerity and the most embarrassing. Embarrassing. I mean, um, um, social plans that in 2019 uh, would be laughed at by Pete Buttigieg in terms of their just utter insufficiency for any problems to do with housing or healthcare, as an example. And then you have that guy and he's not he's not leading in a landslide. If you're not voting for Jeremy Corbyn, you are either an oligarch, in which case respect you're the enemy or you're uh, a sucker of the highest degree. Uh, that meme, I forget who first shared it. I wish I could remember. It's definitely not me, but there's the meme of the guy who's like, you know, he's there at the stadium and the NBA players are walking out. I don't remember which team and he's got his hand up and they're all just ignoring him. You're that guy. You're the ultimate self cuck, not voting for Jeremy Corbyn, unless you're an oligarch is so stupid, so stupid. Are you blaming the electorate, Michael? That's my version of blaming the electorate. Yep. It's one thing if the electorate says, I don't like the choices, you know, legitimately. But you've got a choice here that's really positive from the perspective of anybody who's not an oligarch. And the only reason you wouldn't see it as positive, and look, to be fair, there's, there's even worse uh, media monopoly in the UK. So you've been totally propagandized. But you have an opportunity. And even people like I, I, I admired some of the things that Nicola Sturgeon has said. And I have some respect for the S&P uh, position. Although I would, I would vote Labour wherever I could in the UK, period. But, I mean, even sh her, who's supposed to be, who has some good social democratic credentials, who hacked into Cameron Well, is still talking about Corbyn and Johnson as if they even represent you know, anywhere within the realm of the same threat level, like this buffoonish thug versus a decent social Democrat who has been on the right side of basically everything. Well, he has to break through decades worth of messaging that people have received that labor's not doing anything for them. They've heard it all before. You know, if you haven't been paying close attention to his career, to his ideology, whatever, whatever, it sounds like the same stuff that people have told you before when they were lying. I think in this lying. case, it's the, no, I think in this case, it's, so the right, like, it's the right wing lies about him in this case, because it's very clear. I mean, they understand that he's different than a Tony Blair and Blair, you know, look, Blair and Brown played a super different game. They made, they actually were even more effective than a lot of Democrats here too. Cause what they did is they just made narrowly tailored promises and kept them. But I, I the problem in the UK, I don't think is lack of belief in the agenda. It is total belief in the absolute slanter that is pumped out about him on a daily basis, which runs contrary to just like his very presence. I mean, you, even the new statesman won't uh, endorse Corbyn. And everybody cancel your, if you're yeah, a sub, cancel, cancel new, new statesman. And let them know about oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. I, I'm just thinking back to the video I saw that Novara Media did where they were interviewing working class, lots of people of color yeah. in different parts of the country. And some of them were like, yeah, Jeremy Corbyn. And others were like, I don't see how this is going to help. Labor hasn't done shit for us. And like, it, they have a reason to believe that. Well, what's crazy to me about on that front is like, you guys have, you guys passed the NHS. Yes. Like we, I just think like the example there in the UK to be like, go for it. You can do it is it, it should be an easier. It should be a much easier sell to make. Midi doctor, the Lib Dem.